Using record sets is a way of managing various selections of records. If we go to the client's screen, we have a number of record set commands on the selection menu. Save record set, open record set, add record set and omit record set. So if we make a selection of records, and we save that set, we select save record set, and that will be saved. Just give that a name, a unique name. Then we can create another set. this number two. Then we can create another set. We'll save that set. Now we have three sets. So when we've got all records selected we can go to the Select command and open a record set. And there's our set number one. We can open another set. There's our set number two. And there's our set number three. Now we can add a record set. So we've got set number three, we'll add set number two. And then we'll add set number one. So now we have the three sets added together. The next command is open omit record set. So now we can choose a set to omit. So there we have one and two, we've removed set three. Omit another set. And now we're back to set one. So when we send email campaigns to clients, we can insert an inscribe, unsubscribe link on the email marketing material so clients are able to unsubscribe from marketing lists. And in Australia, it's a legal requirement to include an unsubscribe link on any email marketing material. We can save the sets of the unsubscribers created following an email marketing campaign by opening the client output screen, selecting Collect unsubscribers. We have our unsubscribe account. Choose OK. At this point in time, we don't have any. If we did have some, we could then save them as a set. And then we can, every campaign we have, we can collect all the unsubscribers and create one large unsubscribe set and then when we're going to do a marketing campaign we can omit the unsubscribe set from any records that we wish to send a marketing campaign to and this automatically removes any opt-out people from your marketing lists very simple and easy to do Each record in PrintQuote Pro has a unique ID which is called a sequence number. And when we save a set, we're not actually saving the record information. All we're doing is saving that sequence number so the records can be retrieved. So it means it's a very small file. And here is an example. So here we have five client records that have been saved in a set. So when we open a set, PrintQuote Pro just looks for the records that have these as their sequence number and then makes them the current selection. So we're not saving large files to disk. It's very fast, very quick and very simple.